hello everyone. Um, it's yours truly, First Guy Gaming, coming back at you with another video. Um, <laughs> it's been a while, um, three years to be exact. Um, well, not exactly, but roughly three, four years. Um, last time I uploaded a video. But anyway, um, so what's today's topic? Um, well, today's topic is we're going to talk about Super Power 3. Um, judging by the title of the video that I'm going to choose, you probably already know how this is going to turn. Okay, but anyway, let's give some backstory um, for those of you that aren't familiar. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, um, about seven, eight years ago, I made this channel and I started doing Super Power 2 videos. I really enjoyed, um, really enjoyed the game. I, um, you know, I really... <laughs> well, really enjoyed the game, but pretty much the the whole the whole lore behind it was I watched Carmesar Bros videos about seven eight years ago. For those of you who aren't familiar with him, I, I suggest you check out his channel. He makes good content. I don't know if he makes any videos anymore. Uh, I think when I checked his channel recently, it was not really active. But you know, hey, a lot can happen in seven to eight years. I mean, same thing happened to me. But um, check out his check out his content. Um, you know, if you like this sort of stuff, but. I was I was intrigued by his videos. I bought the game. Um, uh, this came out while well, the actual game came out in 2004, Super Power 2, and I I bought this when it first came out on Steam. Um, and really, Commissar Bro really um, he really built this built the Super Power community up. You know, eight years ago, and I think that's kind of part of the reason why. Well, it's as popular as it is. And probably one of the main reasons why Super Power 3 exists. Um, you know, I mean, it's probably not the reason, but it's probably a big factor with um, with his videos and, you know, the popularity there. Um, but anyway, so, um, as you can see, um, for the most part, good reception, about 80% or positive. It's a good game, and I suggest you go and buy this game. It's only 10 bucks. Hell, I checked G G2A the other day. You can get it for like two dollars and fifty cents on G2A. Okay, it, it's and hell, it's it's worth the ten bucks, but you can get it cheaper through other websites like G2A. It's like two dollars and fifty cents. Um, I recommend this game. It's a fun game, um, and I may play it <laughs> after this video because uh, I need I need a, I need a, I need some good memories. Um, but anyway, so about a year ago. Um, Golem Labs announced Super Power 3, officially. Okay, I know it's kind of been talked about for the past couple of years that they were going to make a Super Power 3, but officially they announced it a year ago. I was very excited. And, um, and then about a month ago, I figured out that the game was actually coming out in October, October 7th to be exact. And I was very excited. Um, so for the past month, I've been awaiting Super Power 3. Because uh, I was like, ooh, I really like the second game. You know, I haven't really played a lot of Super Power 2 recently. I mean, I played every now and again. But, I, re you know, I remember back when I was a teenager, I really enjoyed the game. You know, it was a game I played a lot in high school. And even in college, I played it a good bit still. But, you know, it was a game I really liked and enjoyed. So, okay. Um, so, leading up to the release, I was kind of concerned um, with Super Power 3. The Golem Labs, they really weren't... They really weren't. Um, they really, they really didn't communicate with us like what the game was going to be in terms of raw gameplay. I mean, they told, "Oh, we're gonna have this, this, and that," which is great and all, you know, telling you know your your folks about the concepts. But we wanted to see gameplay. They did release a few YouTube videos, which had snippets of like you know in-game stuff, but really not enough to really show us if we were going to like the game or not. <laughs> um, they didn't really show us the game until yesterday, on the 6th, the day before. And it was really a YouTuber, uh, Politics Gaming, um, you know, who streamed it. That was really our only chance of gameplay that we got before today. And that really concerned me. Because I think that's a shit marketing tactic. Um, who the hell would do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Are you trying to hide something? Like, you know, it's like, are you trying to hide something from us? Um, so, really didn't understand that. But, anyway. So, October 6th, Politics Gaming was streaming. Um, you can go check him out if you want. But, you know, he... He was claiming that uh, the build he got 
was 400 changes behind the most recent build, which makes you believe that, hmm, okay, that, that's, that's an older build. And that also kind of raised a, a flag for me, because I was like, well, why the hell did they give you such an older build if it was really an older build the day before the game's release? you think they'd give you the latest build that people are going to play, you know, <laughs> the next day. So that was kind of a red flag for me, too. And it kind of makes me wonder if Golan Labs told them just a bunch of shit, right? A bunch of shit lies. Um, oh, this is an older build. You know, it's like it's like they're trying to sugarcoat that there's stuff wrong with the game and that they fixed it, quote-unquote, but in reality, they didn't. Um, so after what I saw today, I, um, you know, I, I, I believe either what they told it, politics gaming was, was shit, you know, I don't know, I just think that that was just bullshit, right? Um, I don't know who was really to blame for that, but I, 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 I mean, obviously I'm pointing the finger at Golan Labs. I don't think politics gave me anything to do with that. Um, he was probably just telling what he was told, um, you know, so, you know, I think Golan Labs was full of shit there. But anyway, and that kind of pisses me off. But anyway, let's, 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 let's wind the clocks back exactly two and two hours and 36 minutes ago. Um, the game releases, Super Power 3. Okay, so let's go to that webpage now. Um, you can already tell by the damn thumbs down that <laughs> it obviously wasn't received well. But let's go there. Obviously, I bought the game because here, here's my review right here, which we'll take a look at that um, here in a little bit. But here's Super Power 3. Um, Obviously, the game wasn't received well, but we'll talk about that here in a minute. We'll talk about my experience, because I pretty much played this. I pretty much started playing this right when it was released. Okay, so I download the game. I get into a match. Um, so, I, you know, I play it for a little bit. Obviously, I, I didn't like it, and I refunded the game. Uh, I wish I, I do have gameplay, but... It, the recording was kind of ass, and I didn't want to upload it because that was my—it was a, my original review, and I don't know. And, and I'll explain why. I mean, I'll probably upload it just to upload it so you guys have raw footage, but I don't know. But anyway, it, it was bad. Like I don't even want to upload it, so I'm probably not going to. But you can see for yourself with other YouTubers um, and their gameplay. But anyway, um, so I guess I can break it down with what I liked about it. Um, it's a very short list, but I'll. I'll, I'll talk about I'll, you know I'll talk about what I liked about the game. Um, so really, one thing I really liked was this character creation. I thought it was cool. Um, you know, it had plenty of options. I thought that was cool, but obviously this isn't Saints Row, right? I mean, <laughs> this really is just a small feature of the game. It's not really the main thing. Unfortunately, I feel like that's what that's what I felt like. I felt like I had more fun in here than I did the actual game. Um, some other things, I think, overall, I really wasn't a big fan of the UI, but when it comes to these tabs right here, I do think they did a better job compared to Super Power 2. Um, a little more descriptive, I'm not saying, oh, it's, it's hot shit, I mean, it really isn't, it's a basic UI, but still, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, that's kind of where my good list, what I liked about the game stops. Um, so, what did, what did I not like about the game? Um... The main menu looked like ass, for starters. I mean, it really wasn't a great impression. Um, the options were very lacking. Um, the resolution, and this was the main reason that my recording turned out to be garbage. Um, the resolution, I couldn't get past like 1024 by 768 or whatever that setting is. Um, so, and I couldn't change the resolution for some reason. It wouldn't let me. Okay, and so I, th I found that to be odd. Even when you switch to window mode... Um, you can't change the resolution. I don't know if anyone else has had that issue. If so, let me know. Or maybe I'm just crazy. But, I mean, I, I have proof. I mean, if people think I'm, I'm lying, I mean, I'll upload it and prove it. Like, yeah, no, I'm not full of shit. But, um, and obviously, these reviews are probably backing me up. But, I don't know, it's just... I don't know. Like, that, that kind of pissed me off. And the recording software I was using... Since that resolution, because I'm on a 4K monitor here, so when I recorded it and when I looked at the footage, the footage was pretty much like right here, right? This is the game footage and the rest of it was just black. Uh, it just looked like shit. 
Um, so I don't want to upload it for that reason, but I don't know. If you guys want, I can upload it. it, it but <laughs> don't complain when the quality is terrible. Um, also, funny enough, I turned down the audio so that way when I when I was recording, you wouldn't hear the game music. When I went and rewatched it, I feel like I, I could still hear the game. Like very like I feel like it was still kind of loud co compared to my voiceover. So like I mean you can still hear me perfectly fine, but you still have that annoying music in the background, um, which I don't know. I feel like it takes some quality away, right? So overall, I think those two recordings were ass, and now I'm redoing it. But um, yeah, and obviously I'm not in the game because it's refunded at this point. Um, but yeah, main menu was garbage. Um, there was, ten, technically there's modding support, they they mentioned that there is mod support, and they do say there's Steam Workshop. Um, I think after today, I don't think that Workshop's going to be populated at all. Um, but they do claim that you can mod the game. Um, not really sure how. Um, there really there was no scenario editor, unlike the second game, which there, I mean, that one didn't really work well either. Um, but at least it had one. Uh, this game doesn't. Um, yeah, so, um, I don't know how, how modding works. They claim that you can mod pretty much every aspect of the game, which that'd be cool. And I think they get some points there, but unfortunately, I don't think we're going to find out because I feel like this is a dead game already and it's only been the first day of release. Um, so... Unfortunately, so I don't think we'll ever get to figure that out. There may be like a couple mods, but no one's gonna probably be playing this game by the time that happens. Unless there's a mod that just fixes all the issues, which that'd be nice. Um, but they're not they're not getting my thirty bucks, um, regardless. So I'm not you know you shouldn't have to buy a game just to install a mod that fixes it. I mean if if you have to do that, the game's automatically just shit. Okay, um, that's just my personal opinion. Um, what else? Um, so when you actually get into the game, the, the 3D model of the world is okay. It's not great. It's not trash either. Um, it's okay. Um, it's not the best. Um, I was expecting a little bit more there, but you know what? It's not garbage. Um, the, what you can do in these tabs are very basic. It's almost the almost the same as from Super Power 2. They add a little bit more, like, you know, they have social groups, and you can determine if they're legal or not. Um, you can determine stuff like abortion, gay rights, um, freedom of speech are legal or not, which affects your stability and approval rating, um, which is funny because when I, in some instances, when I do change them, my stability approval doesn't really change, which do doesn't make sense. I literally shut off the internet in one game, in which you can do that, you, you have stuff related to internet access and all that too. I literally shut off the internet and my stability barely went down, which I didn't really understand that. You know, I feel like me personally, if the government tomorrow decided we're going to shut off the internet because we can, I'd be pretty pissed off. I'm sure a lot of other people would be too, so I don't really understand that. Um, I haven't played it enough to really <laughs> figure it out because I don't want to, okay? Um... I'm just very disappointed that I didn't feel like going over the two-hour mark and have to be stuck with this. Sorry, excuse of a game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you do have, like, land use and whatnot. And, I mean, you, I'm sh you know, if you look at gameplay footage, you, you can see what there is. But uh, pretty similar to Power 2. There really isn't a whole lot that they added. It's not like Power and Revolution, um, which I didn't make any videos on on my channel. But if you look up that game, too, it, has, it had a lot more compared to this game. I mean, there's... And there, I feel like the, that one, their decisions there were more impactful, right? You know, I think that game's also a buggy ass mess. I mean, at least it's a functioning game, and um, I have more options compared to this. And it's roughly the same price as Super Power Three. So if you're really gonna want to buy something, um, <laughs> I'm not saying Power and Revolutions like god tier. It really isn't. I've have, I have my gripes with them too. They, like the company is scummy. They release the same like fucking game every year. Still has the same bugs. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, they release, like, a yearly version of Power Revolution. So, like, I mean, it's a fun game. It can be fun, but 
you know, buy one version and just stick with it, right? Don't go and buy the new ones every year. But, you know, they, there's more detail in those games, and they're roughly the same price in Hell 1. Actually, let me, let me look that up. Oh, okay, it's 50 bucks. My bad. But, but yeah, <laughs> as you can see, they pretty much release it. Ah, like, yeah, no. Like, I, I, I stuck with 2019. I think I got this one for free. I, 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 I swear I did not buy these two separately. I think I got that one for free, but they stopped doing it after that. But, yeah, I mean, more detail in that game. But um, still not, like, a great game. But, anyway. Um, so that, that's that, just to compare the two. Um, Military-wise, one thing that really upset me was in Super Power 2, you're able to design units. I mean, not... You can design it with, you know... I guess, what am I trying to say? You can design units in Super Power 2, but you can physically design them. Like, you can actually determine what the model looked like. And I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, that's not that's not in this game. You can still design units, but you can't physically design what they look like. And every model is the same, regardless of what country you are. So if you're in the United States, your tank model is going to look the exact same as the tank model on the if you played as Russia. Which, I don't know, I... <laughs> You think for a geopolitical game, you think you would at least have units, um, country-specific units, like, you know, M1 Abrams tank versus, like, a T90 on the Russians. Like, like, come on, like, I don't know. I felt like, I don't know. I, I felt like that was just a very big missed opportunity there. Um, but anyway, um, you know... Like, kind of like, like, like what Hearts of Iron 4 has, you know, with their units. At least they have country-specific units. You know, I, kinda, I was kind of expecting the same thing here. Um, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Um, war mechanics are very basic. They're pretty much the same from Super Power 2. With the addition of being able to peacefully, quote-unquote, peacefully annex regions. And how that works is you take your units, you move them to a, a country's region... You occupy it, and if you have full control over it, and their and their country's military is in there, you can annex it. And pretty much how that can happen is they'll either back off and let you annex it, or they'll just declare war on you. But from my experience, most of the time, I would I can literally just move my units in there and just take their land. They would not do anything. And if they did do anything or declare war on me, most of the time they wouldn't even move their units. They wouldn't put up a fight, which I didn't really understand. And, they would, and even if they didn't do that, they still don't move their units into that territory. Because, like, I don't know, like, think of it, think of it like this. If one day the United States decided, oh, I'm going to move, I'm going to move some soldiers into Canada and occupy this small territory. Like, do you honestly think that Canada's just going to sit there and do nothing about it? No, they're probably going to respond with putting troops in that same region. I, you know, just realistically speaking, I mean, hell, look at Ukraine, I mean... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think any country, unless they know that it will be a losing fight, you know, they're not just going to stand there and let people just walk all over them, you know, most of the time. But, I don't know. I just, I feel like the AI is kind of garbage in this game. Um, I feel like they do nothing, which is kind of a damn shame. Um, like, I feel like I'm the only one making decisions in this game. And I didn't really get that vibe in Super Power 2. Like, yeah, Super Power 2's AI could have been better, but you gotta remember, that game's also almost 20 years old. This literally, this is a game that came out today. You can't pull that damn card anymore. You can't pull the, oh, this game's a 20... Okay, yeah, you, you get you get points for that, okay? A game that's 20 years old, I'm not gonna expect the AI to be smarter than me, right? But in today's world, I, I kind of do. And I feel like I didn't get that with this game either. Um, but yeah... So, um, I, know, I guess I've been rumbling for long, for too long. I guess let's look and see what other people think of the game. Um, so let's look here. So all reviews, <laughs> very negative. Well, it should be overwhelmingly negative at this point. Um, all reviews, so 6% of the reviews are positive. So pretty much everyone does not like this game. Well, let's view my review real quick. So pretty much what I said was, I waited eight years, uh, I'll pretty much read my review. I waited eight years for this shit. This game is pretty rough. Half the leaders are named John slash Jane Doe, which that's true. 
Um, I cannot change my screen resolution past 1024 by 768. I have a $1,200 computer and the game runs like ass. It's true, the frame rate's pretty bad. Um, and overall, this looks like an unfinished buggy mess. You cannot create new unit designs in the form of actually designing them all of your units, like Superpower 2. The AI can also be unresponsive. I walked right into their territory most, most of the time, and the country I invaded just let me take their at land. I've also seen very basic grammatical issues as well. Not grammar Nazi, but some of these are plain bad. I've seen some grammar issues as well that... And what I mean by that, like... There's that stuff, like, literally, if you proofread it, you'll catch it. So, like, I feel like they didn't even proofread their game. Um, I do not intend to find out what else is wrong with this game, as I've seen enough in the rough 30 minutes I've played to figure out. I will not enjoy this game and regret buying it. Do yourself a favor, stick to Super Power 2, and wait for them to get their shit together with this game. That was my review. And I stick by those words, and I'm, I'm not going to change what I think about this game, probably ever. But let's think about what other people say, because they're probably going to bring up points that I missed. Um, no content, broken games, sliders that don't function properly, supercomputer in the game still runs like dog water. Combat's an absolute joke. Um, this honestly looks like something you could whip up in about a month or two of minimum staff work on the game. I kind of agree with, I agree with them. Um, one speed only, no option. Yeah, so you, you get one option. You only get one speed in this game, too. It's not like Super Power 3 where you can speed up and speed down. You think that, and most strategy games nowadays have that option where you can speed up or speed down. So, yeah, no, that's kind of unacceptable. Even ignoring the bugs, which are pretty staggering, there's just nothing to do. Might be good in a year or two, but it needed a delay. I agree. They shouldn't have released it. They should have. Hell, they honestly should have waited a year or two. I agree. This should have been. Honestly, if they will have released this today, they should have called this an alpha, and they shouldn't have marketed it at $30. This should have been released as an alpha. Not even early access, just an alpha. Actually, it shouldn't even be on Steam. Like, what they should have done was they should have, like, you know, YouTubers like Politics Gaming, um, Commerce Bro, or, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not active, but, like, you know, YouTubers like us, they should have given us, like, alpha copies, or copies of the game, said this is a rough alpha, a very early alpha, this game we're not going to release for another year or two, but when we want you to go ahead and put the word out. That would have been a way better tactic, but they, they didn't do that. Um... Yeah, just buy Victoria 3 instead. Victoria 3 comes out in a couple weeks. I do plan to get that game. Um, and the money that I'm about to get back for this is going towards that. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'll do a review of that game when that comes out. <laughs> so there's my review. I guess I'm the second. I, I mean, I literally reviewed it, like, when it came out. But yeah, that's my review. Um, I was skeptical of this game from the beginning, saying as there was absolutely zero gameplay footage right up until release. That's true. You can literally look at THQ's YouTube channel and you'll see no gameplay. Hell, the only gameplay you will see is from people like me and all the other... They didn't release gameplay footage. They really didn't. Not until, like, today. Um, the one streamer they gave the game to was terrible. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not really gonna say anything about that. Um, I'm playing on outdated build. So, the streamer, uh, Politics Gaming, claimed that it was an outdated build. Which, again, as I said before, doesn't really make fucking sense when the game releases the next day. But, no, they literally, the, the only marketing, gameplay-wise, was that one that one YouTuber. He was really the only one that had the game. <laughs> Which really, also didn't really make sense to me either. Um, you know, they, sh they should have given it out to, I mean, they did give it out to other people, but they should have given it out to more high-profile YouTubers, you know, in the community. Not just politics gaming. Um... So yeah, it didn't take long in playing Super Power 3 that my fears were confirmed. This is a hollow, buggy, poorly designed mobile game, if anything. I kind of agree with him on that. It feels more of a mobile game. Um, nothing seems to flow together. The music is cheap and annoying, hence why I'm not releasing my other footage. Because I, I turned down the audio for the game, and obviously it didn't turn it down. Um, I'll upload it if you guys want, but you probably won't like it. Most importantly, the game just feels empty. I agree. I feel like nothing's really going on. The game's not really... It's not... It's really... It feels like the, the other countries aren't actively engaging. And there's games that do, like Stellaris, um, you know, where you have, you know, don't really any Paradox game, but 
you know, where other countries are actively doing stuff, and it's not the same every game either. Um, you know, Distant Worlds, uh, the first one, I mean, literally, you know, you have a bunch of stuff going on. I mean, you know, strategy games like that, it's... I don't know. And some people claim that they released it because Victoria 3 was coming out and they wanted to compete. I don't know. At <laughs> Regardless, I think Victoria 3 is going to beat it out, especially at this point. Um, so, one thing I do kind of agree and I kind of emphasize with is, you know, maybe I'll pick up this game in a year or two if they actively update it. If they don't, then this game's dead to me and I'm never going to think about it ever again. Um... Unable to fire nukes, unable to design troops, and build troops do not work. Um, there is no tutorial, um, so that's also kind of a... Not good, right? Um, but, you know, as you can... I mean, there's people who've waited like 15 plus years for this, right? There's people who've been playing this superpower stuff since Superpower 1, right? So, I mean, it's very disappointing to a lot of us today. But no, you, like, in, like what this guy's saying, if you literally compare this to any other game, I mean, you're going to play the other game almost every single time. Even games that are mediocre at best, I would rather pick up than play this game. But, yeah, that's that's really all there is to say about this game. Um, I'm kind of dragging this out, so I'll, I'll get to the chase. Don't buy this game. You're wasting your money. I already refunded it. Like if we go to my library... Literally, it's out of my library now. Um, but yeah, don't buy it. Um, you're wasting your time. It's, I don't know, it's just not fun. Um, I'm, I'm very pissed off. I'm very upset. I'm very disappointed. Um, just make some motions right now. Uh, none of them good, okay? Like, I, I literally only had two good things to say about this game. And really, and one of them was the fucking character creation tool. Which... Ha which really has nothing to do with this game, besides, oh, this is what your leader looks like. Okay, that's cool, but it's it's a very small part of the game. Like I said, it's not Saints Row, for Christ's sake, right? But, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, just don't buy this game. I'm probably not going to revisit this. Um, it's just, yeah, no, I'm just not. Um, I hope they update this game. I hope they they figure out what the hell is wrong with it. I hope they just decide, you know what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give everyone their money back. We're going to take this off the Steam store. We're going to work on it for another year or two, and then we're going to re-release it. Uh, that's what they should do. They should honestly take this off the store. They should just give everyone their money back and say, sorry. Like They just got to admit, sorry, we fucked up. We'll take this off the store. We'll give everyone their money back. We'll work on this for another year or two, and we'll re-release it. Okay. I hope they pull No Man's Sky out of this. I don't think they will. Honestly, I, I give it like a week or two before this game's fully dead. No one else buys it, and then it just gets buried. I'm giving it a couple weeks. Um, I'm probably not going to make another video unless they do a 180, which I don't think they will. But if they do, I'll give this another try. But more likely, that's not going to happen. What's probably going to happen is this game's going to die, and it's just going to be a thing of the past. Um... But yeah, um, well, if you enjoy this video, um, you know, feel free to check out my other stuff that I've uploaded in the past. I may start uploading again. We'll see. I'm just really have to get this off my chest because I'm just pissed off with this shit. Um, and I want you all to know about it. Don't buy it. <laughs> um, you know, like I said, maybe I'll do a review of Victoria 3 when that comes out. Maybe I'll start reviewing some of the other games that I have here. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to, you know, subscribe. Um, leave a comment and nothing else. Um, see you next time.